Three, two, one, go. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. Really it worked. As as Excellent. First I'm try. All right. So this is Battle Block Theater. Uh, I am Selected Spatula. And I am House Edge. And um, <laughs> we also ran this last year, but we uh, ran... Um, we ran the regular any percent or any percent no level skip category. This time we're doing the challenge levels, which is um, the 15 levels total, I think. Yeah, 15 levels total uh, of like short uh, time levels. That's too bad. You can get like all the way up there if you do a proper boost. And yeah, that's the challenge levels are very similar to the uh, or ba basically the speed run for the challenge levels is the same as the uh, the run for the regular any percent. Where we um, the primary use uh, or the primary tech to speed up this game is to um, use the weapons in the game to do crazy things. Yeah. So boosting off walls by using the energy ball, climbing on frogs, uh, and stuff like that. There's one really fancy strat that is unique to um, to the challenge levels, but uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Sadly, however, we cannot like show off. The well, we could technically show it off, but it wouldn't be like a speed strike for one of the levels uh, to destroy the blocks that make up the level. Like, we could usually literally despawn some blocks if the level has the right setup for it. Oh God. Which we used in last year's run, for example, as well, but we cannot use it. It's a pretty cool strat, though. Yeah, so it's, box. it's really cool. So, hopefully, you caught that last year, otherwise, uh, I don't know. Check it out. <laughs> I guess. So as you can see by the end of that level, or at the end of that level, there was a lot of uh, volcano blocks going on. So one thing that's like um, a common theme in uh, in the challenge levels is that there's a lot of randomness to them. There's a lot of, um, of things moving randomly or uh, boosting around randomly. These guys are the worst for that, but they seem to be behaving this time. We have to okay, win. that's okay. L like this, exactly. Yeah. Hi. There we go. Oh, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. That worked. So you have the the moving yellow blocks. They move around randomly, and um, and the fuzzy bears or the uh, the Ferdinands also move like back and forth. They don't yeah. move randomly, but those on top of the uh, on top of the moving yellow blocks, they can be you can be stuck there for a minute and a half if you're if you're unlucky, and there's literally nothing you can yeah. do about it. Also, one thing that's very awkward ah, for us. Wrong. Okay, good call. One thing that's kind of awkward for us uh, playing this here is that we uh, we're currently playing on the same computer. We're not used to that. We're used to playing online uh, with me in Norway and the house in Austria. So uh, the lag is pretty significant, which is used pretty heavily in the um, in the end percent run, but not in this run. Ah, damn it. Too bad. Oh, oh god. Oh god. I can get it. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was close. That's I'll, do, I'll just do it. Yeah, yeah. There you go. This is also, yeah, this is also something we uh, we don't do in the Ender percent run, as far as I can remember at least. Um, where the person in front, like, you're supposed to just do a regular throw and then they hit a, a little, like, uh, catapult block, they hit a volcano block and then they bounce back. Nice. Oh god. You stop that. Boop. That's all this I thought you were a friend. Come to me. I'm on my way. Hi. Yo. Alright. We switched over. Oh yeah, this yeah. This is, this is the coolest version of nice. that. Oh, that boost That's is so right. good. I love that boost. So yeah, basically... Oh! <laughs> That's payback for earlier. It's what are you fun. doing? That's fine. I guess we're... We're even now. now. Yeah. Even? What could I do? You blocked me earlier. Drown me. A horrible chicken. But yeah, as you mentioned, now that we are playing on local co-op, there's a lot of stuff that we all of a sudden can do. And also stuff that we cannot do anymore. Like this, usually, obviously, we, because if we were to be playing like individually at home, for example, we would have two screens. So during his menu right now, I would have been able to move already, which in this case is not possible. So hopefully this works first try. Oh. Close. That was close. Shame. Yeah, you can see that the cool, you can see the idea there. Like you're supposed to walk around like the entire level and um, and then grab the three gems at the very end and then um, make your way to the exit. 
but by by timing an energy ball along with a uh, boomerang, because boomerangs can collect um, can collect gems. I'm just trying to set up so the boomerang bounces in a way that House can boost it through the wall, and then we just end level. There we go. Again, that's just something strange. I think both of us aren't used to that the game actually pauses when yeah. you press pause, because that's usually something that doesn't happen in our runs. Yeah. I guess we cheat in that way, kind of. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's not cheating if it's fast. The rules are speedrunning. Just run like you have diarrhea. Also, hi, chat. Starting to come out Yo. A bit. But yeah, a, a common thing with challenge levels compared to, uh, to the like, normal stuff, I guess you could say, is that the gems are usually all jammed at the very end of the level for some reason. Yeah. So there is no like intense gem routing. Uh, like which one do we get? Which one do we skip? There are just three all the time and that's exactly how much you can get. What was that? Interesting. Should I get you the checkpoint then or are you uh, no, nah, I'll just make my way over there. It doesn't take that long anyway. We're trying to to use Ah, yeah, right. Perfect. That's what I'm abusing because yes. that's also something we can kind of do, but in a different way. In yeah. So in the challenge levels, the checkpoints, as opposed to the the regular co-op run, uh, the challenge in the challenge levels, the checkpoints actually work. So there, we intentionally skipped getting the two last checkpoints. So when House when House died, he uh, he would spawn back by the button we need to hit. Okay, so I'm just gonna stand here down here so the fans aren't as loud. Yeah, fans are really loud usually. You're doing it wrong. Do it right. Please don't bop me. No, 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 no. Maybe we have ice swag strats here. Let's see. Hey. Oh, yeah. oh. I died. That's right. not swaggy. I'm going. Hey. Oh, I ended up on the wrong thing. Okay, let me. Hey. Let me die. Oh, hi. Oh. oh. <laughs> well then. Perfect. I think that's how it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. It's actually very important to have the chicken on your head so you bounce like crazy. That's I think we count that it's like 15 times it has to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we don't do that, we can't finish the level. R RNG manipulation for yep. the last level. Yes. Even though there's no RNG in the last level. <laughs> that kinda is. If I want to try to show off a swag spread in the last level. Oh, this is true. Alright, let's see if I can actually make this jump this time. There we go. Yeah, online this jump because of the delay between host and client and the general desync of the oh my God, general desync of the game. This jump actually is really easy. Yeah. Here locally, he actually has to time his efforts very fairly precisely. So I, yeah, because I usually play as the client, um, so I have to suffer with the or enjoy the lag rather and um, and. Uh, the biggest thing is is the weapons. Like the weapons are horribly desynced for uh, for the uh, the client compared to the the host. And we use that, or we use we use the lag in pretty fancy ways in the, the regular hundred percent strat, strats, like we mentioned earlier. This is actually fairly annoying. Sorry, you should be able to make it. Don't throw it. Bubble down. Makes you not jump at all, actually. Yeah, and then having to deal with the laser, it's it's not good. Hang on. Wait. I'm, oh boy. I'm trying to zoom, but I can't. Grab That's the checkpoint. Fine. Yeah, I'm grabbing the checkpoint. Yeah, I can't zoom anymore. That's fine. That's good. Right now, I'm standing on the button, and then I just step off the button to allow House to walk on things. So you won't see that. Uh, this is also a difference playing locally as opposed to online. Because online, uh, the camera would have like, House would have been able to see himself all the time, and I would see my myself. Um, but in uh, when we're playing co-op or on, on locally, sorry. Um, dang it, didn't get it. Yeah, when we're playing locally, uh, the camera zooms out way more, so it's way harder to see what you're actually doing. So I had to like press my right stick to zoom into us. That was cool. Sweet. Ah, rude. My goal. So rude. You started it. I disagree. Uh, no. You dropped me. 
I'll never forgive. No, I'm just gonna wait for you. Okay, sure. You're gonna do an energy boost. Nice. Oh, I'm, I I hit your head and bounced back up. Oh, oh, what? oh. yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful. Land. Land. Is it here? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Lava block, yeah, exactly. That's perfect. Should I swap to you? This? Oh god, yeah, 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 perfect. Keep it yes. up, keep it up, keep it up. There we go. That's Sorry. strats, right? Uh -huh. That's strats, right? Yeah, yeah, super strats. It's uh, motion sickness strats. Yeah. That's why he does the part there, because I usually get motion sickness really <laughs> quick, so that's why he does that. Yeah, we were talking like general in general about lag. Uh, the biggest thing for me is that my my double jumps, like the timing for my double jumps, has to be di slightly different. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I'm not sure how that worked, but whatever, I'll take it. I somehow got an extra jump I shouldn't have been able to do. One thing that's very sad in this. As opposed to, well, I guess, playing locally, as opposed to uh, online, is that we have some pretty cool strats that I can do as a client. Because once again, the game has some decent issues. So the movable blocks that you grab and move, uh, I can just do really fancy things with and put them wherever I want, pretty much. Yeah. Um, but it's sadly not like super useful in um, in this category, so it's not a big deal. I guess we could explain the Omega boost, but just boosting the partner, although it should actually play like the hitting or punching animation. Yeah. And so on the last level, I boosted the spatula all the way up to the exit, and that was because he crouched in front of me. For some reason, if the other player's crouching, you don't start to punch him. So you can boost him. In our case, the energy ball, I boost him all the way up. Also, I stand here to do some. Uh, Manipulation with the, I guess, lab, labyrinth that's coming up. Yep. So we basically just brute force this puzzle by having House stay on the yellow button, and then I just push the, the brown button on my own, and then we get through the entire puzzle very fast. There we go. Nice. I think the last level is already coming up. Yeah, it should be. It's been going pretty well so far. Do you know what RPG is on top of your head? Uh, 12, 25 or something? Yeah, that's a good like run, though. Yeah, this is this is solid so far. Let's see if I can get this. Usually, if the laser decides to shoot a little bit earlier, then it's obviously sometimes tighter or strictly possible. That looks good. I'm going for it. Going for it. <laughs> no. I'm <laughs> helping. I'm dead. I'm helping. Let's go. Mm. Beautiful. I'm gonna go for the shortcuts. Nice. Oh, also in case people haven't noticed, those uh, portal kind of things, I guess, at the bottom here, and we had a level with them earlier as well, they are random, so we don't know for sure if we go into A, we land out of B every time. Speaking of time. Here we go. Time. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. I guess that was already it. That it's was pretty quick. It's a pretty quick run. Uh, Speedrunners after all here. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. You just have yeah, we can zoom out a little bit here. So you have the uh, the three sets of levels up top and then two yeah. at the bottom, and then um, also pro tip for people gathering gems in this in this uh, game. You see, we had about 300 when we started, and after 13 minutes, we have 409. So this is uh, for some reason, if you keep getting the challenge gems, they don't um, like they, they still count. So you yes. just keep getting them. Buy literally everything. Yeah, so it's a very a couple of tries. It's a very, very quick way of getting a lot of gems. Help. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's Thanks Battle Block Theater. Okay guys, thank you for the amazing round you just showed us. We have a small change in the hosting screen also as you can see. So for the, your donations, now you will have amazing voice of Peck. Late. Yeah, sorry I'm late. I uh, I was up a little too late last night feeding 360 Chrism burgers on the other stream. Good times. 
So, uh, yeah, we have no donations at the moment, but as soon as you send them in, we'll be reading them out. You can also donate $20 for watering the plant and giving him a new name. So far, it's Kappa Prime.
All right, so it looks like we just got a $20 donation from Jelly, saying, Shoutouts to Zed for doing the Swapper while I'm supposed to sleep. Name the plant Shirley Root, I guess. Okay, so, uh, give it the name. I'm gonna give the water with the chores. All right, we good? Yeah, it's gonna survive another few minutes. Thanks for your donation so far, folks. Remember that ESA is a speedrunning event for charity. We are raising money for the Save the Children Foundation, so it's all going to a good cause. Yeah, sure. Uh, if you guys in chat have any questions or anything, um, we'll uh, be happy to try to answer them. Or maybe did you see the movie? Of Incredible? If that's what's coming up? No. Why not? Never got around to it. I don't know. Someday. And uh, do remember to give the ESA channel a follow and uh, maybe even subscribe and it will help uh, support us in the future for uh, future events.
Alright, we got a $10 donation from Bufu2k saying, Let's get ready to rumble! Um, ah. hello there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. My hey. name is Starna, and his I name is I am Squank. Super Squonk, <laughs> and by the way, it's pronounced Squonk. A lot of people call me Squank and Skank, <laughs> but it's not those, it's Squonk, alright? So just gotta get out of the way. <laughs> So timing starts this game as soon as you gain control, so I'm just gonna pop the game on and I'll say when time's gonna start. You have to press the button when the timing starts. Okay, I'll do that. Alright, so this is The Incredibles video game, which is of course based on the Pixar movie. And, well, there's a whole bunch of things I'm gonna have to go over, because... This game has a lot of interesting things in it. This game was made by Heavy Iron Studios, who most people know for making Spongebob Battle for Kinney Bottom. And this game definitely shares a lot of similarities to this game, so it's definitely interesting. So I'm just going to hit the button when time's ready. So yeah. Okay, I'm just waiting for the right moment. Okay, and now. 